Let's take a look at 23.5. A particle, mass 50 grams, Q5 microcoulombs, is released from rest when it's 50 centimeters from a second particle of charge minus 20 microcoulombs. Determine the magnitude of the initial acceleration of the 50 gram particle. We're going to assume that the only force making this particle go is the electrostatic force. So we have a situation where we have a particle, positive charge, Q equal to 5 microcoulombs, mass equal to 50 grams, which would be 0 0.05 kilograms, and that is a certain distance away from another charge, Q equal to minus 20 microcoulombs. And the distance away between them is 0.5 meters. So there's going to be a force, attractive force, on this Q that's attracting it to the negative charge. And that force, as I've drawn it, will be to the right. The magnitude of that force will be the Coulomb force, K little q, big Q, over the distance between them squared. This would be 9 times 10 to the 9 times 5 microcoulombs times 20 microcoulombs. And I don't have to put the negative in there because I've already accounted for the direction by my vector. And this is over a distance of 0.5 squared. So we have 9 times 10 to the 9 times 5 times 10 to the minus 6 times 20 to the minus 6 divided by 0.5 squared, 3.6 newtons. To the right as I've drawn it. <clears throat> That's nice to know. I've always wanted to know that, but the question is, what is the magnitude of the initial acceleration. Well, if this is our only force acting on the particle, then it should be true by Newton's second law that mass times acceleration will equal this force. So our acceleration will equal the force divided by the mass, 3.6 divided by 0 0.05 kilograms, and that gives us 72 meters per second squared. So that is our initial acceleration of the particle. We ignore gravity, that that force would be way too small, and we actually weren't given the mass of the second particle, so we wouldn't be able to figure it out anyway.